the scene of this week's fatal explosion for several days as they try to figure out what actually caused it. This morning, a lot of the downtown area is still closed and some people still aren't being allowed back in their homes. Our Christina Laurie is live in Sun Prairie with the very latest. Christina, good morning. Good morning, Adam and, Dan, Adam and Josh, rather. Uh, WE Energy says a majority of the natural gas here in Sun Prairie remains off this morning. 36 hours after that initial deadly explosion and six since that explosion site sparked up again overnight. Until workers can confirm this area is 100% safe and there are no leaks, people are being kept out of their houses as a precaution. Overnight, firefighters were back at Tuesday night's explosion site, putting out a small fire at Glass Nickel Pizza. That fire started just before 11.30 last night. Dane County Dispatch tells us the fire took just a couple minutes for crews to put out, but first responders stayed out here for a couple hours as a precaution. The site is still smoldering, as you can see this morning. This is a new view. We were just let into this area for the first time. If you live in or drive through Sun Prairie, many streets around the downtown area are closed, taped off with this yellow caution tape or orange signs. We have a list of all road closures on our website, channel3000.com. Back to Adam and Josh. Just an incredible sight there in Sun Prairie. All right, Christina Laura reporting live. Christina, thank you. And if you're unfamiliar